All right, so let, let's try and um, do this problem. So what we're trying to find right here is the total area of the region between the curve and the x-axis. So I'm trying to find the area that I'm highlighting right here. And I need to do that using integration because we know that in my pitiful handwriting or printing, the integral is the area under the curve. So we're gonna use integrals to do this, but we got a problem. And the problem is that this area up here is positive, but this area down here is negative because it is below the x-axis. So if I was just to stick this into my calculator and go uh, from negative two to two of, um, of uh, x cubed minus four x dx, well, I'm gonna get a number that is not the total area. I'm gonna get this positive area right here minus the negative area. And that does, that's just not gonna cut it. So, I mean, it's looking to me, if I did that, I would get zero because this looks rather symmetric and I could test that out, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to. So what I need to do is I need to follow a process when I'm trying to find area, not just um, the integral. And that process is that I have to divide this function into intervals, not integrals, intervals. So I know that I want to find the area between negative two and positive two. So that's what these dotted blue lines are. And it just so happens that it starts right there at a zero but I need to divide it into intervals where the function is crossing the x-axis. And where it crosses the x-axis right there is a zero. So I need to find the area of this interval, and then I need to find the area of that interval. Now, it is true that this interval is going to be a positive area. And this interval is going to be a negative area. So I still can't just add them together. But what, let, let's call this area A and call this area B. What I can do is I can take the absolute value of area A and add it to the absolute value of area B. And in this case, that will get me the total area. So, the first step in a problem like this is to find the zeros. So I'm going to find my first zero here. I'm going to take, I'm finding the zeros of the function, of my function right here. So I'm going to go x cubed minus 4x equals zero. So I'll factor out an x, and that leaves me with x squared minus 4 equals zero, and that gives me x times x plus two, x minus two equals zero. So I can see that I have zeros at x equals zero, at x equals negative two, and at x equals positive two. But I'm not too worried about these because that's actually where my problem starts. I want to know the area between negative two and positive two. If I was looking for the area, you know, like negative three and positive three, well, then I would be concerned about the fact that those, that those were zeros. But at this point, I'm not really um, all that concerned with that. So what I'm going to do is I am now going to divide this problem into two separate problems. I'm going to find the integral from negative two to zero, that is this piece right here, of my function um, x cubed minus four x. And then I'm gonna find the integral from zero to two, that is this interval right here, of x cubed minus four x. So I can do this in two separate uh, pieces, and I'm going to start by first taking my function, since I'm going to use the fundamental theorem of calculus, and I'm going to find out 
Well, what is big f of x? Well, big f of x is equal to, I got a placeholder here, and this is x to the fourth. That's this, let's make it look like a four, please. x to the fourth. So the number in my placeholder here is going to be one fourth. And this is going to be minus four placeholder x squared, adding one to the x to the first right here. And in here goes a one half. So my big F of x is one fourth x to the fourth minus, well, this looks like four times one half, two x squared, this is my big F of x. And that is for the, the function that I'm finding the area for. So that is not going to change from this integral over here to that integral over here. That's going to be my big F of x. So let's do this problem here using the fundamental theorem of calculus. I know that the area under the curve, the integral, is equal to f, well, let me, f of a minus f, no, 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 back we go, back we go. Let's, let's draw this properly here, all right, not rush things. So I have the integral from a to b of f, of x, stop, that's my, 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 I'm acting up here. Okay, sorry for that interruption, but um, I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna say, I know that the integral from a to b of a function f of x dx is equal to big F of b minus big F of A. So let's take a look at the very first integral that we're doing over here, the very first piece of the area. I want to find the integral from negative two to zero of um, x cubed minus four x. So that's gonna be big F of zero minus big F of negative two. So let's, let's find out what those are. We know that big F is equal to this right here. So big F of zero would be, so let's go big F of zero would be equal to one fourth zero to the fourth minus two zero squared. So that's pretty clear that that's gonna be zero. And big F of negative two is gonna be one fourth negative two to the fourth minus two times negative two squared. So that is equal to one, that's a fourth, one fourth, one fourth times 16 minus two times four. So that's four minus eight. So that is equal to um, negative four. So big F, of zero minus big F of negative two is zero minus negative four. It's positive four. So I'm gonna come back up to my, my graph right here, and I'm gonna say that this section right here is positive four. So now I'm gonna do the integral for the other side. So let's change colors here. I, I already, I, I'm going to do big F of 2 minus big F 
of zero. Well, I already know that big F of zero is equal to zero. So big F of two is going to be one fourth times two to the fourth minus two times two squared. So again, this is 16 um, minus eight is positive eight. I'm making a mistake. No, my bad, my bad. It's one fourth times 16. So it's four minus eight is negative four. So I have big F of negative two minus big F of zero. I have negative four minus zero. I have negative four. And that makes some sense. It looks symmetric. So this area down here is negative four. So to get the total area, I'm just going to add the absolute value of these two intervals. So I'm going to go the absolute value of four, which is that right there, plus the absolute value of negative four, which is that right there. And that equals four plus four equals eight. And if I had just found the integral using my calculator or something from negative two to positive two, well, since I have positive four and negative four, the integral actually would have turned out to be zero. As it is, I'm looking to find the area, and the area is eight. <laughs>